Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a free professional email address. So first of all, why exactly do you need a professional email address? So a professional email address is something like hello at nicolatweed.com or your name at yourdomain.com. And a professional email address can help you create brand recognition and it can build trust. So if you are using an email address that you created via Gmail, Yahoo or Outlook, then I think now is the time to create a free professional email address so that your clients trust you a little more. Okay, so first you need to make sure that you have purchased your domain name and you have purchased a hosting package. Now the great thing is if you purchase hosting with someone like SiteGround or if you are South African and you purchase it with domains.co.za, then you get a whole bunch of free email addresses that you can create. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create those free email addresses and how to set them up with Gmail, Thunderbird and Mac Mail. But first, hi, I'm Nicola from nicolatweed.com and on this channel, I share the best tips about creating a website with WordPress and creating an online business that you love. So if you want more like this, then be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you get notifications of when my new videos are launched. Here we are on my cPanel for domains.co.za. Now, regardless of which host provider you go with, they all generally look the same and you'll generally be looking for the same section and creating your email accounts the same way. So this video will be relative to you whether you are on SiteGround or any other hosting platform that gives you access to your cPanel. Now to get access to your cPanel, you will need to contact your host provider or review the emails that you got once you first purchased your hosting package. Okay, so let's start. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the section which says email and we're going to click on email accounts. Once we are in the email accounts, we're going to look for a button that says create. So I'm going to click on that. And then we are going to choose the domain that we want it to be linked to. So I want it to be linked to nicolatweed.com. Then I'm going to put in my username and I am going to put it as um, Nicola Tweed or let's put it as accounts and then it will be accounts at nicolatweed.com and then I'm going to generate a password I'm going to copy that password I'm going to just keep that safe put it in my email inbox for now and then I'm going to click create Okay, so now I have created that email address that says accounts at nicolatweed.com. So the next stage is to connect our devices. So the first one we are going to be connecting is Gmail. So we are going to click connect devices. And under there we will get our username. The password is the one that we set and we will get the information about the incoming server and the outgoing server and this we need to keep handy when setting up our emails in Gmail, Thunderbird and MacMail. Okay, so we're going to come to our Gmail inbox. Okay, and once we are in our Gmail inbox, we're going to come here where you've got your settings tool and then we are going to click on see all settings. Then we're going to come to this fourth tab that says accounts and import. Okay, and we are going to send mail as our accounts at nicolatweed.com and then we are also going to check mail from other accounts. So we're going to click add email address and we are going to put in that email address so it's accounts at nicolatweed Dot com and then we're going to click next step okay and this is where we're going to put in that username again 
nicolatweed.com and our password is the one that we created. And now we're going to go back and we're going to get our SMTP server details. So these are our outgoing ones. So we're gonna come back to our cPanel and we're gonna copy our outgoing ones and make sure we have the right port, which is 465. So click on that, paste that in, 465, and we are going to add our account. Okay, so once we've added our account, then it's going to ask us to enter and verify the confirmation code. So what we need to do is come to our cPanel again. We are going to go back here. We're going to go to our accounts at nicolatweed.com. We're gonna check our email. And we have got a notification from, from Gmail with a confirmation code. So we're gonna copy that, come in here, and we are going to paste it in there and click verify. Okay, so now that we have set up the outgoing, we're going to set up the incoming. So we're going to add a mail account, put it in here, so accounts, at nicolatweed.com and we're going to click next. Okay, we're going to import our emails from my other account and click next. Here we're gonna put this in again. So this is the username, which is the email address. And then we're going to put in the password. So a password should still be here. So it should be in our drafts. There's our password. And then we're going to put in our server. So we'll come back here. So this is our incoming server. So it's nicolatweed.com. And then our port is either 993 or 995. And as it's pop, we're going to go with 995. And I'm going to leave a copy on the server and I'm going to label it as accounts at nicolatweed.com and then I am going to add the account. Okay, so that's just taking a little bit of time just to add the account. Okay, so sometimes that can bring up an error and what you would need to do is come back to your cPanel and under your cPanel, you might see non-SSL settings. Now, this might not work. I've tried this port, where this incoming port, 995 with nicolatweed.com, and it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm gonna come back here, and what I'm rather going to do, so I've got this here, let's edit my info. I'm going to put in the password again, and I'm going to use mail.nicolatweed.com and port 110. So I have got this from down here below, which is my non-SSL settings. Okay, so there it is, port 110 and mail.nicolatweed.com. So sometimes it really is just a uh, playing around game to see which ports work. So I'm gonna click Save Changes. And once I click Save Changes, if I go to my inbox now, I can see accounts at nicolatweed.com, and there we go. So to test it, I'm going to compose a message to accounts at nicolatweed.com, and hi, hi, this is a test, and I'm going to click Send. And there we go. There is my email and I can respond, hey, got the message. And I can click send. And there is the message. Okay, so in Gmail, if you want to now send an email from accounts at nicolatweed.com to one of your clients, you simply click compose. And the from at the top there, you click on that drop down, you click on accounts, and then you can message whoever you want and click send. Now, one thing as well with Gmail, 
It does take a while for emails that come from your professional email address like accounts at nicolatui.com. So if you are waiting on an email, what I best suggest you do is you come to your settings here, see all settings, come to the fourth tab, which says accounts and import, and simply just come down to here. And as you can see, let's say for example, this hello at nicolatweed.com was 45, 49 minutes ago that it was checked. So you just simply click check mail now, and then that will push it to go and check the emails. And if there is one, it will say one message has been fetched, and then you can go to your inbox and you can check those emails. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to set up your emails with Thunderbird. So Thunderbird is a free email application. It's very much like Outlook. Outlook, if you've used Microsoft Outlook, then you'll get the same kind of feel. So what you're going to do is come to thunderbird.net, click on that link, and then you're going to click on free download. Okay, so once you download it, whether you're a Mac or you are on a PC, you'll just download that file and you will install the file as required. Okay, so here I have Thunderbird open. I am going to pop in my full name and my email address that I would like to set up. So it's nicolatweed.com. And let me just get the password from my Gmail account. pop in that email address and I'm going to click continue. Okay, now it's going to obviously look up the configuration. Um, you can keep your folders synced to the server. That's really great. And then we're going to click done. It's going to then check the password, make sure the password is correct. And it's going to start setting up your email account on your um, Thunderbird account. So I'm going to click finish and we'll skip this integration. And there we go, our email addresses have been set up with Thunderbird. Okay, so the last one that we are going to look at is setting it up with Mac Mail. So here I have Mac Mail, I've opened that on my Mac, I'm gonna click continue, and then we are going to now start, up, start setting up our mail account. So we're gonna click on other mail account, click continue, put in our email address, put in the password, click sign in. Okay, and this is where we are going to add in our incoming mail server and our outgoing mail server. The username is automatic, but let's just pop that in. And this should be nicolatweed.com. And then we'll click sign in. Okay, and then we are going to click done. And then you can select your mail privacy protection. I'm going to go with this one, click continue. Okay, and you can see in the bottom here, it was connecting and it is downloading our emails. Okay, and that is the process of setting it up on Mac Mail. Gmail and Thunderbird. Okay, so that is the process of creating your free email address. Be sure to pop your comments below. Let me know how it went and be sure to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this.